So we're taking a look at Streamlabs console today. Streamlabs has come out with Streamlabs console. Basically, you can now set up your overlays and everything to be display displayed straight to Twitch from your console. That's what's up. That's what's up. So that's what it is. Create professional looking live broadcast with the ease without a PC or capture card. Add overlays, alerts, and widgets from a tablet or phone. So, yeah, you can get your layouts and everything. Basically, yeah, you don't need OBS, um, like a desktop uh, or Streamlabs OBS desktop no more. They got a web-based program. So, basically, just like Lightstream, if anybody familiar with Lightstream. If you're not familiar with Lightstream, then, um, hey, you'll learn about that um, in this video because it's kind of what Streamlabs console is like. But basically, it's a web-based software that's giving you the ability to uh add overlays and everything while you stream desktop uh streaming software desktop obs or desktop streamlabs obs um and you can also get into it from your phone to control your overlays and stuff too uh so yeah uh but it is uh paid you gotta pay for this you pay 49.99 for the year or you pay 4.99 a month um i'm not saying uh what's going to save you some money or be a little better at all I'm, I'm not i'm not going to try to say that but yeah uh frequently asked questions can i trial stream yeah they give you seven days how do i get started yeah we're going to do that in this video and how do i set it up yeah we're going to do that in this video so um without further ado let's get started on uh that so um, I'm already, um, what you call it? So I'm gonna go ahead and log in just from right here. Log in and see, I already set up my overlay right here. But basically, yeah, go ahead, allow, allow, allow. Um, you see my webcam popped up right there. So if you're familiar with the desktop version of OBS or anything like that, then um, that's, that's kind of what's going on here. So take that away for now. But, um, well, sort of. But, uh, yeah, that's basically what it is. Now, this overlay right here, I'm going to go back to projects, uh, and, um, I guess I'm going to create a new project and show you kind of what I did. One thing, uh, that, uh, a lot of, it's going to deter a lot of people away from even trying this out is the fact that the resolutions can only get 30 frames per second at the current time. This software was just released like a week before, even a week I don't even know if it's been a week, but since I'm making this video, so it, it's going to get updated. But I mean, really, this this is very debatable. But I mean, if you're streaming, um, you know, is every device don't get sixty frames a second? And I mean, nah, I mean, you're just streaming. It's not like you actually playing it and trying to be smooth with the gameplay. You just streaming. So, I mean, this is a very budget-friendly service for streaming in both 720 and 1080p. But that is the little disclaimer that you can only get it in uh, 30 frames per second on both resolutions. But we're going to save it there. Um, it's going to give you some little walkthroughs or whatnot. But I'm going to walk through something real quick and real simple. So, I'm just going to leave it at the 720 frames per second. We're going to go auto live. We're going to turn that off. Uh, auto live is basically when I go live on my Xbox... It's going to go live to Twitch, sort of, but it's not going to go live like to the public. It's just going to feed to the uh, Streamlab server, and then it's going to give me the ability to go online when I'm ready from here. So, uh, show grid, I'll be turning that off too. But you're going to go ahead and you, your game capture, you see that's already there because your game capture is linked to your account on uh, Streamlabs and... Uh, and Twitch through your, yeah, Streamlabs, Twitch, and OBS, that's all linked together through your Xbox, Xbox Series X. Um, so your game capture is going to appear when you go live. Now you want to add a component. Now I use a website called, uh, let me just take you there. It's called uh, Place It. Oh, I'm tripping. P L. Yeah, it's called Place It. I hit cap lock. But see, I'm in here and I logged in. Yeah, I am. But basically, I go here to uh, like gaming, YouTube, YouTube thumbnails. And then I create my uh, 
you know, my thumbnails, I go to gaming, uh, Twitch templates, uh, Twitch, where's the overlays, Twitch overlays. So I use this service right here called Place It, and you can make all your overlays and stuff right here and place it. That's going to be a whole nother video that I might do, but I mean, for now, if you want to look it up, there are other creators that have already posted Place It videos. So just put that in your search bar. But you can go ahead and make your own little, uh, you can make your own, let me go to, I don't even know if I have any saved in my folder, but let me see. This is also where I made my logo and everything. Um... Nah, I don't have one saved in my folder, but basically, or, uh, what am I trying to talk about here? Gaming, the Twitch overlays. Uh, yeah, Twitch overlays, you'll basically, let's just use this one for example, you'll open the overlay, um, it'll give you like a whole little layout to do or whatever, and I always just remove the image right here and change my background to a uh, PNG so that this would just display, but I made my own already and place it. So I come over back over to here, add component. I want to add the image, and that's basically the PNG that I already came up with. So I've already sent it here, um, but you will just upload it to wherever you downloaded it to from wherever you got it from. Now, this is a PNG, so this drone right here, it is, you know, it's no background. So my game is gonna show here. Uh, I always take this down to like 90, or to like, uh, sometimes even 85, but, uh, Sometimes even further, but it's just to make this transparent so that my game will kind of, you can see through, but you can still see my overlay right there. That's just how I do it. And then you want to go and I want to add another component. You want to add in your webcam. So I had, so the webcam comes up right here. I got a couple of different options. Uh, I can use the built-in junk that's built into my MacBook, or I can use the USB cam um, that I got plugged into my MacBook uh, via USB. So you want to add that in there. Uh, you're going to push the plus, resize that jump to the way you want it to be resized. And uh, put it where you want to put it. It don't even matter. Just drag it where you want to put it. But this just for these purposes here. And as you're going, your scene is going to save automatically. But you just when you can, just go ahead and hit save scene. So uh, and one more thing. That's my webcam. And, oh no, it's right here. So when your webcam and your settings over here on this side, you wanna use the microphone. I got a couple of different options, but I, I got a microphone that I use. So I'm gonna plug that in for the mic. Everything still gonna refresh right there. Boom, hit that save scene and make sure that locks in there. And uh, there you go. So now I'm going to go on to my Xbox. Let me show y'all that as well. So. Give me a second. Okay, now once you get on the Xbox or whatnot, you know, you're going to come over to your capture and share screen, and then you're going to start your stream. Um, I guess uh, for Streamlabs, uh, you know, it already said uh, 1080p or 720 at 30 frames a second, but you're going to go down to your destination and you're going to hit that Streamlabs zone right there. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and go back and I'm going to go ahead and go live. And like I told y'all, it's going to go live. However, in my Streamlabs, uh, um, web page, it's not going to be live yet. I'm going to have to make it go live. I wanted to catch that Jonah a little soon. I'm going to move that out the way for now. I'm, uh, oh no, uh, my bad. Move that but um, I wanted to catch it as a transition, but I am live on my Xbox now. However, you see in Streamlabs, uh, let me load the game. I'm going to start Call of Duty up so it won't have this Twitch game here. But I'm going to load Call of Duty up. It's going to populate now. Everything is going. Everything that you see is going on. It's going on, but I am still not live to the public yet. So here we go. Uh, it should be loading any second. So yeah, now I'm in my game. I'm going to go ahead and uh, game set up. Let me get a little bot game going here. Uh, it can just be real quick. Don't even matter. Start match. I'm not. I'm going to be a spectator. All right. So I'm just. I'm going to get a little bot game started just so some gameplay can be going on. And um, so, yeah. So this is basically what it looks like. Now, this is the point where you will click go live. Now, 
I am going to go live. You are live now broadcasting to Twitch. And to go and check that out, I'm going to go to my Twitch. So there's Twitch. Um, This is my channel right here. Oh, oh let, me, let, me, let me get this audio down. My bad, I forgot I was going to do that. But, um, so, yeah, hold up, network error. Reload. Okay, now I'm live. So, there we go. I'm live on Twitch, and like the, I'm using Streamlabs console, which is a web-based version of Streamlabs OBS, and there it is. Let me go ahead and bring my camera back up. So that I can show y'all why this is still going on. Um, what do we want? Uh, we want Safari. We in Safari. Man, let's get this back down. Let's go back here. So I'm going to turn my camera back on. Come on, you'll find that camera. And you see your chat goes over there too. We're going to slow that up. So I'm going to turn my camera back on just to show y'all how it is. So there it is. It's still small right now. I don't got anything set up right. But it's, it's about to... Oh, nope, nope, my bad. Remember I told y'all? Save scene. So now, let's sit here and let's wait a couple seconds for that to populate. Okay, so once again, let's just get this a couple of seconds to load up. I just want to show y'all how it looks when you use a webcam hooked up to your PC. Um, yeah, there you go. When you're using Streamlabs console. Um, so that's what it looks like. You can still use a, uh, you can just plug a webcam directly into your Xbox along with a microphone directly into your Xbox. You can still do it this way, but it's just an alternative way that I wanted to show y'all. So yeah, I really, really hope that this video is helpful. Is helpful. Um, I really, really would like feedback. I really want to know people's thoughts on the whole um, them releasing this with just 30 frames per second at the moment. I want to know what people's overall general uh, thoughts are about um, Streamlabs uh, console. So yeah, go ahead, give me a like, uh, subscribe if um, that makes you feel comfortable. Um, and yeah, uh, uh, let me know what y'all think about Streamlabs console. Thank you.